Hello and welcome back to your Bear Making Mastery mini course, day three. Uh, we are going to learn how to make the perfect clay nose. So you'll never make a bear and ruin it with a poor nose again. If the nose isn't perfect, you just simply don't attach it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the clay nose with a wire shank and that allows you to actually um, insert the nose just like you would a bear's eye and this is just as perfect for working with miniatures as well. Okay, so here's our clay nose with the narrow looped um, wire shank in the back. So what we're going to need is first of all the clay. This is heat set clay. So I use Fimo or Sculpey and I like to use the brown and the black and mix them together. You'll need some wire, so floristry wire or jewellery wire. Look for something nice and fine but you do want it to be fairly um, sturdy and strong. And um, some pliers that can cut the wire and also this little um, spatula. You can buy this from an art supply store. And finally some forceps and just make sure they are the lockable ones um, because we're going to want to lock them and put them in the oven. Okay, so the colours that I like to work with are the brown and the black and I do mix these together so I find the blacks just a little stark for the bears that I make they're quite often um, neutral browns but again the browns are a bit bright so I like to mix them together and I'm aiming for the colour um, the Copic colour dark bark it's um, a really dark colour but it's not as stark as black so just mix them together really well you can see the colour there I'm trying to achieve Okay, so just keep mixing those two colours together until you have a perfect blend. And if the clay gets too soft, um, you can just set it aside so it, the, it hardens up a little. All right, and so what we want to do here is make a ball twice the size of the nose that we want to end up with. Okay, so roll a ball um, that's twice the size that you want your nose to be and then slice it through the middle. Okay, so the trick with doing this is that effectively it forms two noses. So what we want is a nice flat back to sit against our bear's face um, so that it's really quite flat and then we want the roundness of the front of the nose. So just by holding it on your finger here you can keep the back really nice and flat and just work with the shape of the nose. You might want it square, you might want it round. Um, while I'm at it, I do make both noses. Um, you can always put the other one away um, for another bear. Okay, so just gently shape that to be the perfect size and shape for your bear. Just smooth off the, for the front. And then what we need to do is make the wire shank. So um, we get our floristry wire or our beading wire. And we just want to make a very narrow u-shaped loop here okay and then we just using the cutting edge of the pliers just cut off that little shank okay just move the um, two ends apart so that they're not touching and we will be able to use that to insert it into the back of our clay Okay, nose. so I like to put the wire shank into lockable forceps. So if you lock it in, it will mean that when you're trying to insert that little loop into your nose, you've got something to hold on to. So just straight into the center of the clay nose. We do want it right in the center and just make sure that it's in deep enough to um, hold on to that clay. All right. Last chance to perfect the nose, make sure it's the right size and shape and that you've got no fingerprints on the front there. Okay, so when you're happy with it, it can go straight into the oven in the forceps, just the way it is. Okay, so straight into the oven. Okay, so please check your instructions on your clay, but um, most of the clays will require five minutes in a very low oven for a small nose. So 80 degrees Celsius for five minutes. Don't be tempted to turn the heat up 
because you will get bubbles on the top of your nose. So make sure it's a low heat, a low drying heat, 80 degrees Celsius or 175 degrees Fahrenheit and leave the nose for around five minutes. Okay, so if you're worried, you can leave the nose in longer. Um, you just can't turn up that heat. So you can leave the nose for seven or eight minutes if you're worried, but you do want it to be cooked. So you do need to make sure that it's got that intense heat inside the nose. So leave it a few extra minutes if you're worried. Okay, so the forceps will be hot. So do remove the forceps with a tea towel. Um, and we just want to set that aside to cool. Um, it should only take a few moments, but you do want to make sure that heat was in the nose. Um, if you were to touch it, your finger would almost get burnt. So really heat um, the nose well, make sure that it's cooked. Um, otherwise, you'd actually be able to scratch the top of the nose um, and almost leave marks. So make sure it really does cook. Um, and then just simply set it aside to cool down. Okay, so when your nose is cool, you can um, just lift that wire shank out of the nose and leave it in the forceps so we know exactly how it came out of the nose. And we just want to make sure that um, wire shank gets super glued in properly. So a drop of super glue into those holes and we can lift the wire shank straight back in the same way that it came out. Okay, so the hole's perfectly shaped for that wire shank. All right, so there we've got a finished nose. Um, do let that super glue dry for 24 hours before attaching it to your bear. So now you have a perfect nose. If it's the right size, shape and colour, you can attach it to your bear just like you would AI. Um, and if not, you can go ahead and make another one. But just um, make sure when you're attaching it to your bear that you do hold the nose and you create a little hole in the um, uh, gusset section to sink the shank and you can go ahead and attach it to your bear. If you'd like to learn all the bear making techniques that I use to make this beautiful mink bear then please I'd love you to go ahead and enroll in the mink masterclass.